saves time, it saves space, it saves money. For years, patients have faced long wait times and high bills at the emergency room. A new groundbreaking program in Knox County hopes to change that. Tennis reporter Cole Sullivan explains how it works and how it could save you time and money. Cole? John, the mayor calls it the biggest breakthrough for the ambulance service in half a century. If you call 911 right now and say you're sick, they're going to bring you to the hospital. It's the only place they can bring you. Under the new program, you can video chat with a doctor who could point you towards urgent care or even write you a prescription before you ever get in the ambulance. It's called ET3, and Knox County will soon be among the first places in the country to test it out. Groundbreaking, that's the word. When an ambulance arrives, it can still bring you to the ER. If you're badly hurt or having a heart attack, nothing changes. But if you're not that sick, EMTs will recommend video chatting with a licensed physician. It quite frankly looks a lot like a, a FaceTime call through an iPhone. The doctor can suggest alternatives, like a trip to urgent care. Before, the patients didn't have an option. Um, it was, you know, essentially, you dial 911, you go to an emergency department via ambulance. 911, where's your emergency? The ambulance company says one in three medical calls in Knox County don't need emergency care. But having to take people to ERs drags down the wait for everyone and slows the ambulance response time for true emergencies. ET3 could change that. It's aimed at getting the right patient, the right care at the right time. Plus, a telemedicine visit is a lot cheaper than an ambulance ride and an ER bill. Long wait, expensive bills. Now they have an alternative. One day, the pilot program may pay for ambulance rides to mental health facilities or even be able to recommend care without sending an ambulance at all. Lots of folks are happy about this. The hospitals like it because it means fewer people in their ERs who don't need to be there. The ambulance company likes it because it means fewer trips to ERs for people who don't need to go to the ER. And the government likes it because it could get more appropriate care to citizens for less. We'll find out what patients think when it takes effect on Thursday. Robin? A lot of smiley faces there then. All right, Cole, thank you. <laughs>